Dan Ullman, Mike Beer at Monmouth Park getting set for grade three action. The first graded stakes race on the Haskell card at Monmouth on Saturday. Let's take a look at the field for race number eight, the $400,000 Monmouth Cup. Older horses going a mile and an eighth. And Chad Brown, not surprisingly, has the two horses to beat. Both coming in from New York off victories with big figures. Yeah, two really nice horses. He's sending over here in Pipeline and highly motivated. Um, I think they're both really talented. Um, I'm a big, highly motivated fan. I wonder... Still wonder, Dan, if this is the right distance for him. We're going to throw up the time form U.S. pace projector for this race. And Pipeline has shown speed going a mile. I would think he's going to show yeah. speed in this race. Maybe the two Top Gun Tommy can show a little bit of speed as well. But I think if, type, if Pipeline wants it, he's going to get it. Yeah, I do. He's a, he's a pretty he's a pretty fast horse. I think they're going to come out of there running and try to make the lead with this horse. Lots of changes for the number one anti-gravity. Blinkers off. He's a first-time gelding. And he's going to have to improve. He ran fourth in last year's Haskell, placed third via disqualification. Hmm. He was also beaten a country mile in that race, and he's on a bit of a losing streak. If it rains, you can upgrade his chances. He does seem to like a wet track. He did win twice here last summer. Um, the second of those, though, right off the maiden win in a race where he got a great trip into a really fast pace and took advantage. Uh, he's in very, very tough here. Kelly Breen's a very good trainer and he's taken a shot with a sharp horse. The two, Top Gun Tommy, returned off a six-month layoff to do this against first-level allowance rivals. He sat just off the pace. He won in comfortable professional fashion. Now he's got to run faster. Uh, yeah, they're going to step him way up in class here off of a pretty easy win in his most recent start. They're also going to stretch him out to a mile and an eighth, which he's run okay over before. I don't think the distance is going to get him beat. It's The, the question is, is he good enough to go with horses like this? The number three, informative as run once previously at Monmouth Park. He won that day, the grade three Salvatore mile at 79 to one. Yep. Give him some pace, he's gonna run. Yeah, well, that's what happened in that Salvatore mile when he pulled off the big upset. They were blazing away in front of him in there. He just sat it out and came with a big run at the end um, to, to pull off a nice little upset there. This is a horse who outruns his odds more often than he doesn't. Um, he's going to sit back here and try to make one run. Speaking of upset winners, Rough C won the native dancer at Laurel at a mile and an eighth at 40 to one. But there was a rabbit in there for him, and he took advantage of a big pace to win. But he's won two of his next three starts, including this race last time out, a starter optional. He won by 10, and he got a 96, a fig that puts him in the ballpark. Yeah, another figure, two out of his last four races. He's run fast enough to be competitive with his horses. It's all about whether he classes up. Can King of Dreams handle dirt? If he can, he has a bit of an outside chance for trainer Juan Avia. This horse is a stakes winner on Tapita. He won the showing up. A race that produced four next out winners. His subsequent three turf starts have not been good. No, he, he doesn't come into this race in good form at all. It does feel like maybe he's just a little bit better, at least on the, on the synthetic surface. Is he that good on dirt? That remains to be seen. Let's watch Pipeline's most recent start. He wins easily in his first of the year, a first level allowance race going a one turn mile, 104 buyer speed figure for Pipeline, who looks to be coming into his own as a lightly raced four year old. I talked to Chad Brown. He said this three month layoff was by design. He's looking forward to stretching him out. Yeah, I, I would be looking forward to stretching him out, too. They stretched him out going turf to dirt last summer and just his third career start at Saratoga. He ran great that day um, and then came right back and ran well again uh, upstate in Saratoga when they cut him back. I don't think the distance is a problem for him. He was super impressive off the layoff. Let's watch Highly Motivated, the other Chad Brown's runner's most recent win at Belmont. This was a game performance against stablemate Stage Raider, the half to justify. Highly Motivated beat a couple of minor next out winners in this race. He was very game to win. The question with him has always been distance, yeah. and I know he ran well going this distance in the bluegrass behind essential quality last year but i still think the jury's out yeah i do too if only because that bluegrass um, was the perfect situation for them to stretch this horse out a race that was really slow early and then really fast late and he just couldn't quite hold on he ran fine that day but he did it with an absolute perfect trip i really like him dan i think he's a really good horse i still don't think he wants to go this far click on the subscribe button for race of the day stakes previews and lots more on the daily racing form youtube channel top pick time where are you going I thought it was between the two Chad favorites, um, you know, which doesn't make this a very interesting race for me. I much prefer Pipeline over this distance. I'm going to go with Highly Motivated. He showed some ability at three. It's his third start of the form cycle. I think maybe he can wear Pipeline down. Good field. First graded stakes on Haskell Saturday. The Monmouth Cup. Good luck.